What's up you guys, we made it to Minnesota at the Minnesota Card Show. It is 40 degrees and raining here. It's pretty cold, but the show's off to a good start. It is a four day show and the first day is VIP only. So we're just kind of walking around, seeing what we can buy and let's make it a great show. Off to a great start so far. We have the first pickup of the show. We have a Giannis Immaculate out of 25 with a game used patch. And it's also a three color patch. For this show, we have the usual wristbands. We've got the She Breaks wristbands, changed the colors up a little bit, did pink and black, and then we stepped it up. We got some She Break stickers. So come check out the booth, get a free sticker, and then I'll also be throwing in bracelets and stickers. If any of you guys buy anything off my Instagram, they'll be going in the packages. We're Sean in Minnesota, and we are doing a coin flip for this lot of cards. So you want to flip it, and I'll call it in the air? All right, here we go. Heads. Ten. <laughs> yep, she got me. Hustler. Day two here at the Minnesota Card Show. Yesterday, towards the end of the show, we had someone come and clear out most of the inventory, so we only have three cards right now. So, what we got is the LeBron Silver First Year Prism. We have the Trey Lance NT 49 out of 49, and he's on the 49ers, so that's pretty cool. And then lastly, we have the Jordan Lawler. Gonna see if we can move those cards, and also we are buying a ton today. But let's go find some good deals. We got a deal done with Chatty and Maddie from Jackpot Sports Cards. How's your show been? It has been good. I'm very impressed with this show. Uh, the promoter is a young young guy. Uh, 20 years old, I believe, named Isaac, incredible. Everything's organized, it's a good crowd, people's nice, uh, it's a good venue, and we just made a deal. We got a what deal done. Go wrong? Yeah, right? let's go. All right, so we picked up, we have a Trey Lance, Jamar Chase, a Poku, and a Justin Herbert Auto that'll hopefully grade well, fingers crossed, we'll see. It'll grade well. All right, we'll see. It'll and then, well the LeBron and the Ja Morant. Shout out to Chatty for the great deal. Thank you for Thank the deal. You. Thank you. And sir, it is over 80%. You gotta think about the kids. Hey, strong. Um, 2,800. If you're at 2,825. 20 and 20, and I'll throw in Ben Simmons. I don't got a 20. I'll throw in Ben Simmons. I don't want, what Ben Simmons? You're, you're gonna want it, he's, he's good. Much, much, much later. We just got a deal done here with Mr. Rohan. Got some bangers, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, and then a few other throw-ins. And coming to auction houses soon. <laughs> Good deal with here with Rohan. Appreciate it, as always. I'm gonna go around and ask people who is gonna win the NBA championship. We're gonna go with the Milwaukee Bucks. I think that the Milwaukee Bucks are gonna win the championship. Um, I think they got Giannis, who's really good. Um, if he can get healthy, and I think that um, They've done it before, so why not let them do it again? Oh, that's a great question. My money's on the Boston Celtics, though. I think they have the deepest roster. Um, with Giannis being hurt, I think that's going to hurt the Bucs. Um, I think in the West, it's kind of up in the air. I think Phoenix is going to be tough, though, tough to beat, especially with Durant you know, getting geared up. But I think overall it's going to be the, the Celtics. I think this is Tatum's year. Boston Celtics all day. Hey. This isn't a hot take at all. I'm going Kings. It's a lock. I'm going Kings. Um, I'm still off my twenty dollars. The deal is not yet come to close. Make it a break. Sunday night. Just picked up another card. This is the Bailey Zappy Color Blast PSA 10. Lots of good deals actually today. For a Friday today, it's been really good. We got some cheaper stuff in the slab case too. So let's keep buying and making it a good show. Day
day two recap. That's the end of the show. Honestly, it's been a really solid show. I was a little worried about the show because this is the first time that they've put on the Minnesota Card Show, but it's been really good. Had a lot of good walk-ups to the table and bought a lot of lower and stuff, and then we've also sold quite a bit of higher. And we started the day with two cards, ended the day with a lot more than that. Sold a bunch, bought a bunch. Overall, a great day. We're headed to the basketball game tonight. The Timberwolves are playing the Nuggets, so we're going to go check it out. First time in Minnesota, and you know we had to catch a game. So that's a wrap on day two, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. the Minnesota Card Show for a day three of the card show and looking around the show it's actually really crowded and the show has a great turnout for being the first time they've ever done the show. Um, as we saw yesterday we picked up this Justin Herbert Contenders Auto. Super happy with this pickup and we got a pretty good deal on it. Gonna try to grade it. It looks pretty clean so gonna send it to grading. Hopefully it comes back and it got a couple more hours left of the show before the flight home so we're gonna go around and see if we can get a couple more deals. Would you take 50 for one of the Monopoly ones? Uh, I can't. The best I can do is like 50. 55 on it. All right, I'll think about it. All right, we've got a Monopoly Prism. We're doing a coin flip. We got a coin. You want to flip it and I'll call it in the air? All right, where do you want me to flip it? Okay. All right, yeah, that's fine. All right, heads. Uh, it's heads. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We got a Monopoly Prism box. Never opened this, so we're going to give this a try. Won the coin flip, got it for $50. Let's see if we can get anything good. Josh Giddy Silver. Second year. Bang! All base. So last hope, this last pack. Well, as you guys saw, the Monopoly Prism was a bust. It was still kind of fun to open. It never opened the Monopoly. It's a new product, but um, did not get anything good. It was actually a terrible box. It's Monopoly, first time dropping, so it was kind of fun. I'm sure some kid will enjoy these cards. I'll probably find someone at the show to hand them out to you. Hey, bud, do you want some free cards? What do you say? Thanks. Card show. It has been a success for the first one. It's awesome. We are killing it, and I hope you are having a great weekend. What is up, everybody? We are here at the Minnesota Card Show with your boy Roth Cards in the building. We have bought a lot of cards today, but let me tell you, anytime you're at a show, it's important to know how to pivot. A lot of times at these shows, I'm looking for 5K plus cards, 10K, 20K, whatever. But at this show, I've done 89 laps, and there's not much hiding in the room. So when that happens, it's very important to know how to pivot. So I bought a lot of $100 cards today, $50 cards. When, when the opportunity comes to go back to, I used to do $50 cards, $100 cards all the time. And you know what? It feels good to get back into it. You got to just feel the room. You got to feel each show. Each show is going to be different. And when each show is different, you make the most of the show. And that's what we've done. We've bought a ton and we've sold a ton. I can't even keep $100 cards in the showcase. They're selling that quick. So just know how to pivot, when to pivot, and when you do pivot, Make the most of it. It's your boy Roth Cards, and we're here in Minnesota, baby. Go put in that work wherever you're at in the world. Let's get it. So we wrap from the Minnesota Card Show. Honestly, a pretty good show. Had a lot of good foot traffic today on Saturday. We did a couple high-end cards, but mainly it was lower in this show. Not a bad show. Thanks for tagging along to the show. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos in the future, and I'll see you guys next video.